Welcome to the New York Public Library's Map Warper tutorial. The library's map collection contains over 400,000 maps and 20,000 books and atlases from the 15th century to the 21st. About 15,000 of those maps have been digitized so far. Our award-winning open source software, the NYPL Map Warper, allows users like you to help bring our historic maps into the present. We can turn pixels into real geographic information by layering our historic maps onto a web mapping tool. This process, called rectification, allows us to visualize how places have evolved over time. To join the Map Warper team, just create an account and sign in. Then you'll be ready to start working with maps. First, you'll need a map to rectify. You can search for maps using keywords like place names or geographic features to bring up a selection of our digitized images. You can also browse the entire collection of digitized maps. The status column on the right will tell you if the image has been already rectified. You can sort the list by status and bring the unrectified images to the top. Once you've chosen a map, click the Edit Rectify Map link. This will bring up a split screen with your historical map image on the left and a mapping tool on the right. You'll notice that each frame has the standard web map navigation controls on the left. First, you need to make sure the web mapping tool on the right is displaying the same geographic area as the image on the left. Now you can begin matching locations on the historical map image with coordinates on the web mapping tool. Click the map pin icon and mark the corresponding points on both maps. Then click add control point. Your first pair of pins will both be numbered one. In the area below the maps, click Control Points to monitor the error values of your points. Values below 10 are acceptable. The easiest way to keep your error values low is to outline a regular shape, like a square or rectangle, with straight lines. For best results, you should add at least four control points. Now we need to crop the map to reduce any excess border from the historical image. Click on the Crop tab and then the Polygon icon to start. Click to create anchor points and outline the area of the map you want to keep. Once you have completely outlined your map, double click and view your polygon. To make changes, click on the Modify Polygon icon and reposition any anchor points to improve your cropping. Click inside the area to toggle back to viewing your crop area. When you are satisfied with your control points and your cropping, click Mask Map. When the process completes, you will see a message saying, Map Masked and Rectified. To see your map in action, click the Preview Rectified Map tab. Your historical map image will now be layered over the matching location on the web mapping tool. The transparency slider lets you fade the historical map in and out. Can you see any changes in the landscape between the two maps? On this map, you can see there is now a park where there used to be buildings. You can share your rectified map on your favorite social media platform, export it to Google Earth, or email it to family and friends. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We at the New York Public Library hope you'll join our online Map Warper team and help bring the past into the digital present.